What is up guys, this is Jared Spawning here, and today, for this video, I'm going to be discussing something that somebody actually asked about. So I have done a video about how to store your silver stack before, however, I've never done one on specifically storing your silver stack at home. So that's what I'm going to be discussing, is how to store your silver stack directly at your house. And I'm not going to include anything ridiculous like burying it in your backyard, because that's impractical, especially if you need to retrieve the silver quickly, if you have to leave for some reason, you know, it's not going to be easy to dig up the silver. So I know it's a little ridiculous to think, you know, about doing. So I'm just going to be doing practical methods, I should say, um, of storing your silver. So there's a few different uh, suggestions I'd have. One is, and this depends on how much silver you have, but assuming you have a lot, I'd go with the, um, the double hiding place thing, and not like you hide half your stack in one spot and half in another, but rather, your real stack is hidden somewhere, but you have a fake stack that's a little bit easier to find. Something that's way smaller, you know, maybe even fake silver in it. Some crap like that, right? Some stuff that no people think is going to have some value, and really it didn't cost you much to produce. And put your fake stack somewhere that's easy to find. The person will find it and be like, you know, oh cool, you know, jackpot, I got some silver or some gold or whatever. And they're going to think that that's it, and they're not going to keep on looking, especially, like I said, if that one's way easier to find than the other, they're not going to keep on looking until they find the other one. Now, if they do happen to find the other stack first, then that would be pretty bad, but that's why I'm going to be giving you some good places to hide it, and not specific places, but more like ideas, you know? So one is the good old hiding in plain sight method. You know, put it in somewhere that just doesn't seem like it would be able, you know, to have silver in it. Maybe, I don't know. Let's say you have, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to think of a specific one. This would be kind of weird, but maybe if you had plants around in the house and you were to hide silver in the soil, I don't know. No, please, I mean, that is a little ridiculous too because for one, it would be hard to access, but for two, I don't know if that would affect the plant's growth in any way if you'd be, um, you know, obstructing its roots from getting water. So that might be a little bit ridiculous to do. Maybe if you had a fake plant, then it would be fine, I'm sure. And, you know, you had like, just one of the fake plants that still had soil. You put a little bit of silver in there. Again, that's a little bit more of a, a extreme method, I'd say. But just somewhere that's in plain sight and nobody would think to look inside of. Because chances are, if nobody would think to look in there, they're not going to. I mean, if you're robbing a house, you're going to try to be fast. I mean, that's kind of obvious. You're not going to be looking all around for like 10 hours straight. Because you're going to take whatever is in plain sight, not... You know, stuff that would take a very long time to get to. So, another thing I would suggest doing is getting making it so that the silver is extremely difficult to take. And what I mean is either put it in some kind of huge bulky safe or something that's very large. Something that could not be opened on the premises. And maybe get a mounted safe that's hidden somewhere. Now, those are a little bit obvious. However, the chances of them having the proper equipment to break into... A highly secured one are slim to none. So, and the other thing, of course, is that they'd make a lot of noise, and if you were there, then they wouldn't want to have to deal with that. And speaking of which, I would definitely recommend having alarms on all your doors, in the type where, you know, when they go off, it actually does signal somebody to come over, because that's going to help you greatly, especially if somebody knows that you have silver and they're trying to come in to take it, then you're going to want to be very secure. But I do have a video on how to protect your silver stack if you want to check that out as well for more info on that. But in terms of just sheerly hiding it, other than the plain sight method or just hiding it somewhere that's extremely inaccessible, just somewhere where nobody would think to look. And like I said, even if they do find the silver, it should be in some type of container that's impossible to take or very difficult to take with them. Because if you were... Like, imagine yourself in the scenario where you're trying to rob a house. If you were there, right, and you'd been looking for a long time, you know, you'd been there for an hour or so, and you find this safe that's mounted to the wall, I mean, you probably want to get out of the place, right? How are you going to take that safe off the wall? I mean, it's going to create a lot of noise, like I said, and it's just going to be extremely impractical to do. They're going to take the stuff that's really easy to grab, so that's why I would just say, you know, put your silver in somewhere where it's, it's very difficult to lift out. Now, of course, you'd be able to open the safe because you know the code to it. Now, of course, again, 
you know, they're going to probably be able to figure it out if you have one of those basic safes where, like, you know, you can take this stethoscope or whatever and put it against the uh, um, safe until you can hear the uh, pings when you're turning the um, dial on it. So you definitely want to have something that's a little bit higher end because otherwise it's not going to be very effective if the person can simply really easily break into it. And you'd be surprised... You know, burglars realize that there are going to be a lot of times with long counter saves, and they will bring basic stuff like that with them. So just trust me, it's not anything you want to have to worry about, so just get a safe that is really secure, or just hide it somewhere where no one would think to look. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed the video, and I think those are some practical ways, I think, to store your silver. And that is it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.